G'day guys and welcome to another Blender Buzz tutorial. Today I have something very interesting to share with you guys. It is a website called Normal Map Online and what it does essentially is create a normal map to you. Not only normal maps, also displacement, ambient occlusion and specular, but primarily the thing we're going to be focusing on is the normal map because that's the one people always want. That's the one that um, is more accurate than the displacement and it can really make your texture look a lot um, a lot more realistic, not just like a flat paper um, surface on your objects. So I'm going to put a link to this in the description below so you guys can open it up yourself. You don't have to sign up, it's 100% free and it's very fast and yeah, so I'll put a link in the description below. You guys can click on that and open that up so you can follow along with this tutorial. So um, it doesn't matter if you're working in Blender, Maya, 3ds Max, at some point you're going to be using textures in your projects and those textures require normal maps. Now you can find um, pre-made normal maps online and um, textures on texture sites but if you have a specific texture you want to use and you really want a normal map for it um, you know some people say you can do that in GIMP or, or Photoshop and you can open that up and you can make a normal map but that's really um, a lot of work so I'm just going to show you how we can very quickly do it in this software. So I have a stone texture here that I'm going to be using to demonstrate this tutorial. It's just one I got online. You guys can use whatever you want. Now, just before I go any further, it is useful to find a texture that doesn't have too much shadow. So you can see here, I do have shadows on um, this texture here. So it's not the most ideal example, but you guys will get to the point of the tutorial and that's all that matters. So I'm going to go close this and I have this um, stone texture here on my desktop. And all you have to do to upload this is take this texture, whatever texture you want to use, and you drop it into the first box here. And what you're going to see, it automatically, almost instantly generates uh, the normal map here. So you can see here the normal map is the one that is selected. And at the moment, you can see in our live display here that the, um, the normal map is quite rough. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the strength down and you can see the color changing here live and also the the surface interaction here changing. So it's quite a useful um, tool. So I think a normal map like this looks pretty good for what I want to do. And I think it's a little bit too sharp. So I'm going to decrease this a little bit like so. And yeah. And what you can also do is instead of having a model um, cube, you can go ahead and get a plane like this. You can get a sphere. You guys get the point. There's a lot of useful features within this app and it can really help you just very quickly um, hammer out a normal map for your projects. So you can also then click on your displacement and you can play around with these levels here. Go to your ambient occlusion. This is very interesting. So if you want some ambient occlusion in your texture, you can create an ambient occlusion map here. So I'm going to drag the strength up on that one. I think that looks quite good. And then I'm going to go to my specular map here and you can also um, play around with your specular levels. And then when you're done generating all these maps you want for your texture and you're happy with the final result, all you have to do is go and click on download either the individual that you have selected or you can go ahead and select download all. So if I click on download all, you can see here it downloads all of these maps. So if I go to my download folder on my computer, Okay, so I'm in my downloads now. You can see it has generated these for us and it's even named them for us. So we have ambient occlusion, displacement, normal map and specular map. So all I have to do now is take my other texture, the original one, drag it in here. And now I have my stone color, my specular, normal, displacement and ambient occlusion. And that was really easy and quick to do. It didn't cost us anything. And now when I'm working on a project, I can drag in a normal map, a displacement, a specular, ambient occlusion, and I can make a much more realistic texture. So I hope you guys found this, um, this quick little tutorial useful. I hope you guys um, are able to find the link below and use it. 